Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. My name is Kieran aka Kieran B and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, where we last left off we started the investigation and then we got stuck because I couldn't find uh, this, I believe. I don't think that I saw the sword. I may end up uh, redoing the video if that's not the case, but... Uh, no, not the sword, the sheath. I looked at the sheath the first time we came to the room. But I didn't look at it the second time, and I believe that that might be what I was missing. There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. Unless they were simply trying to defend themselves. If Saika was simply trying to defend herself, um, as the attacker was swinging the knife, um, then that would make sense. But then if the if the sheath, because the sheath looks, the there's a bit sticking out of the sheath that looks solid, so that could easily get caught on something, and the sword could come out. That would make sense. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? Because it slid off in the middle of the fight. Obviously. Replica sword sheath has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright. So now, we should be able to go in here. The bathroom. And then the other side of this door... A murder scene. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Eesh. That's a lot of blood, actually. Now that I think, now that I think about it, that's a lot of blood for a single stab to the ad abdomen. Like, it's on the walls and stuff. Did you, like, get stabbed and then stumble into the bathroom? It's weird. Uh, it's probably just a stylistic choice, if nothing else, but... Oh, well. Uh, looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizzy dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, let's... Hello, what exactly is that? It's mirrored. She was looking down. There, Leon. Is, hang on. Which one is Leon? Yeah. Really? He wasn't on my list of. He wasn't in my on my shit list. Funnily enough. Hmm. That's interesting, but actually. Ellie. I suppose it could be reversed as well. Could be Ori. Well, either reversed or flipped upside down. So Ori or Ellie. Let me take a quick look at these. So duh, duh, no, 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 no. Yes. No. 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 No, 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 no. Okay, so that can only be Leon, I think. There I saw Leon. Okay, well, <laughs> I did some investigating that I didn't need to do. Noel. Written in blood with numbers 11037. Dude, seriously? How stupid are you? You can see the end. 
You can see it. I don't. I don't particularly get why she did it upside down, but. Oh dear. Um, did Saika do this? Okay, well, if they're not going to outright say that it was Leon, then that's probably the clue that's going to tell me. Alright, well... Um, I think I may have figured out this trial. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, honestly. Um, this isn't on easy clues, by the way. I was given the option at the start. Um, just in case somebody's coming in at the, in the middle. I was given the option at the start of like easy, medium, or hard clues. It's on medium clues. I mean, given that it's the first one, it's bound to be easy, I guess, but still. Maybe I need to bump up the clue difficulty. Um, I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but, but now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said. Oh, that's why she... Her right wrist was broken. She couldn't use her right hand, so she had to use her left hand. Hang on, there's a way... There. She... There... Okay. Well... Okay, why is it upside down? On the ground, beside her left hand, there's a huge puddle of blood. She couldn't write her message there. Obviously. I'm not sure about the window. What? Maybe... She could have written it there, but... She chose not to. But she had to use her left hand, so that is... Maybe the only wall that she could have written it on, so she had to bend her arm up and write Leon there like that. And she was dying at the time, so she couldn't exactly flip the image herself. So, or alternatively, it wasn't Leon at all, and somebody is trying to frame him. That's a distinct possibility. Let's see, um, right, what was uh, I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach, it's obviously a kitchen knife. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Well, I'm guessing the kitchen. It's a kitchen knife. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on the on her wrist too. That's what? Oh, did it is only a replica sword. That's true, so maybe it's not maybe you can't cut with it at all. Okay. So the killer used the replica sword. She went and found her own murder weapon. That's what happened. After I left, she went and... Well, no. After we found the replica sword and brought it back to my room, she went to find the mur... She went to find her own weapon. She said she wasn't going to, but she ended up doing, her, doing it anyway. That's what she found. Then... Somebody came into her room, took up the replica sword. The replica sword is only a replica, so it's probably heavy and metal, so it couldn't actually kill. But they maybe didn't realize that right away, so they... S in the struggle, they hit her wrist. Then when they realized that it was too blunt to actually kill, then they took her knife, which she brought to protect herself, and killed her with that. That looks... That's, that sounds reasonable. I don't know if it is or not, but it sounds reasonable. Hmm. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that working theory. 
Uh, right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Where does that leave the roller, though? Why the hair? Oh, well, it's probably to clean up all the gold dust, yeah. Hmm. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. Yes, that's where she wrote the Leon. Yep. Or, that's where the killer made it look like she wrote Leon. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger... Laika's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's interesting that they're linked together. They should be two separate ones. But... Like, her finger isn't even painted in this picture, so... Uh, well, actually, no, they are linked together because she could only write with her left hand. As I said already. So, yeah, I guess they are linked together. Uh, the stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist... That must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? Well, it could be, obviously. But obviously it didn't. There'd be no reason to. But it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. Yes. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Alright, what about this, uh, blood here? No? No? Uh, on the wall? Uh, that must have been the killing blow. Where'd they get it? Yes, okay. Uh, okay, let's skip this. Real quick. Uh, okay, is there anything else? Actually, I can do this. That. That. Oh, I'm guessing this is the same one again, but let me just double check real quick. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's it. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think we know how she was killed. Um, we understand the struggle that happened. I'm not sure why they would clean up the gold dust. Why the killer would clean up the gold dust, but um, there you go. And she is accusing Leon from beyond the grave. I do wonder. Um... Is the bathroom? Yes, let's go. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Yeah, they're not numbers, dude. Man. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. You often talk like an aspiring poet. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. Ah, that's also true. That's why you couldn't go in the glass beside her. Because if it went on the glass beside her, it would be easy for the killer to see. She... Yes! That makes absolute sense. That makes perfect sense. She needed to hide him. To hide it as well. Again, this could also be the killer uh, making it look like Leon did it. So, nothing is 100%. But... It's not looking good for my buddy. Um, okay... That's why she couldn't use the... Why she couldn't use the window. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. So, that's... Assuming that Leon is the killer. Then I think we've pretty much solved this entire case. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's go. Um, if she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her... I mean, she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well... Yeah, it would be upside down. Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious that you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Wasn't it already there? 
sent a message to his wrist. That's weird. Well, maybe it's changed the actual... What? The actual label? What it's called? It's not... Uh, it's not dying message. Or it's not 11037 anymore. It says dying message instead. Maybe. Okay, it sounds like Kyoko knows what Psycho's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, you who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Ah, that also makes sense, yes. Okay, yes, the thing I forgot to mention earlier was that the reason that she had time to write that was because uh was because uh the killer was cleaning up all the glitter that's actually not true what happened was she got stabbed in there in the bedroom then she she went into the bathroom, closed the door behind her, the killer didn't know the trick to opening the door. That gave her the time to write the message. Okay, that makes sense as well. And then the killer had to literally break down the door to make sure that she was dead. Um, so it wasn't the glitter that they were... Um, it wasn't the glitter that they were cleaning up. It was the blood. Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? It gets stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. <laughs> Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Not the doorknob. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. Okay. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Guess. It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something mm -hmm. similar to unscrew it. So... Somebody used their... Somebody uh, opened their tool set. That's basically what that means. Oh dear! Whatever it was, it's obvious that this was intentional. What? It was intentional. Why would somebody want to do that? Because they couldn't figure out how to get in to kill her. So... Or, more accurately, to make sure that she was dead. I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well I did tell Saika about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Saika knew about it? Did we tell the student council president guy? Why do I have that idea in my head? Why to, exactly do I have that idea in my head? Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay, I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, 
I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. But Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And, and on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe you should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay, um, I can probably fast travel to the AV room. Uh, but, uh... No. Where's the AV room? Okay, well, anyway, let's go to Saika's room. Because there's a, an exclamation mark there. Let's see what's happening. Wait, was it Saika's room? Brother's room, Psycho's room, yeah. Wait. Why is... Makoto... Psycho... Hang on, am I reading this right? Kyoko. So Kyoko, Psycho, Makoto. Did the plaque switch? Since this is apparently in my room now. Huh? This is Psycho's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Yeah. Model. Okay, so I can't actually go in there, but uh. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Let's go to the line. Actually. Hey, Leon! How's it going, buddy? Why am I so short? I just now realized that. Why am I so ridiculously short? Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Saika was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Yeah, I know this. Mm -hmm. Wait! Saika swapped the nameplates! What the nameplates? <laughs> Very strange. Mr. Naigi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? She switched the nameplates. I'm not sure if that was clever or suicidal. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Saika's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Saika's room were switched. So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Why would someone do that? Unless it was Saika. Maybe she was thinking that she didn't want to bring trouble down on me? Then what was the point of switching I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. I don't get that. Very strange. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. Hmm. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Uh, the reason Saika was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? No, that's not true. She's dead because of me? No. Nope. Then it should have been me that died? Nope. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Nah. Now, uh, someone was gunning for her to begin with. I don't know why. Someone was. Maybe it was Monokuma. Maybe Monokuma swapped the uh, nameplate? Hmm. Interesting idea. Uh, hello. Kina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all the first for me, and no- Oh! 
Oh, that did not feel good. I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Psycho was killed. Really? You were outside of your room. Huh. Right, well, let me come in here and find a knife. Or more accurately, missing knife. So just that one right there. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here. Big to small, but... And because she was here last night, when Saika was killed, that means that somebody took the knife before... before it happened. Which goes with my theory that she went and found something to help her survive. It looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or...? I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Um, is there... what's this? Nothing. Uh, okay, so I think we can get back out of here now. That seems about right. Um... Do you know something about that? Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally! Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappearing like that? Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right! Nope! Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there... But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass... The knife was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining mm. hall. Yeah, in other words, you're right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. They should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. But she can't say who did. Oe's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your hand. Um... Hey, by the way... Did you really kill Sayaka? Well, of course not, I would never! Ina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her! On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Huh. So I think what that means is that during the trial itself, we'll need her to testify about who actually came to the dining hall. She says she didn't see me, but did she see anybody else? Well, actually, no, she hasn't said that she didn't see me. She just wouldn't have seen me. Because I didn't do it. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, well, I am going to leave it there because, as you heard, my voice is starting to give out. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite, ring the bell, follow me on Twitter, and check out my Discord server if you feel like it. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you, and I hope to see you again.